is this a game? I mean, given the opponent, hockey feels like it's often so short term, like you try to focus on one day at a time. Is this an easy one to kind of look back, remembering the last time you faced these guys? Yeah, definitely. Uh, I mean, we don't, we only play this division uh, twice in a season. Um, and obviously we played them in the playoffs last year. Um, so it's, uh, it's a game that's been marked for a little while. I mean, a team that eliminates you from uh, the playoffs, especially when you're on a run like that, uh, it leaves a bitter taste for sure. And, you know, it's, uh, it's been looking forward to it. So. You've been right now for five years. So, I mean, what did that experience do for you, just, just playing in the Eastern Conference Finals? Yeah. Um, I mean, the experience of playing in such meaningful games, not only to uh, the team, uh, but to the city itself, uh, playing in, in games that, you know, meant something to not only yourself, but, but to the 11,000, 12,000 fans that were at the, every single game sold out cheering for us. Um, it, uh, it just really puts into perspective why we play the game and, and you know, why I keep wanting to come back here and, and, and succeed for this team and, and this city, so. Absolutely for sure, and how when he was doing video with some of you guys earlier today, Mason Yops was kind of like, wow, like, just looking back on that and, and what that does, that amps you up. Do you get the same feelings? I mean, I don't know the last time you looked at video from those games in Van Doon. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we watched uh, watched a little bit today, and 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 uh, we went back and, and watched how we had success and how we scored some goals, and uh, you know, seeing the emotion of not only the players that scored but uh, the fans that were at the game, um, it does it does hype you up. Um, it's, uh, so it's exciting. Hopefully, we got a good crowd tonight too. Can you talk about just the last couple of weeks here? Um, because a lot of the guys, like we talked to Birch, uh, Byron Warren, like they've said how yeah, the results aren't there, but we're losing, but we're playing in the right way. You're one of the leaders on this team. Are you seeing the same thing? I, absolutely. Uh, I think we're all seeing it. Uh, as we, like you said, we are, we're playing well. We're, you know, we're, we're, playing the way we think we should be playing. And like you said, we might not get be getting the results right now, but you know, it, it's kind of a cliche, but it's a long season and uh, there's going to be ups and downs and lulls and highs and all this stuff. But um, you really need to take what's been happening in the last two weeks. And, you know, you might not have success right now, but to learn the lessons of, Hey, Games are hard. Games are hard in the playoffs. Games are extremely hard in the playoffs, right? These teams, uh, obviously Syracuse, now Hershey, like these are the teams that we played um, on our run last year, and they, they weren't easy games. Um, and to, uh, to, to learn from, uh, to, to, to take away from it that, you know, not every game is going to be handed to you and you got to work for it is a good lesson that we are fortunate enough to hopefully learn once this early in the season when we're only 26 games in um, and take those lessons and, and, and use them in the next 40 games and hopefully continue in the playoffs and continue along in the playoffs. So. When you talk about like that and the lesson for this season, for you yourself, like, was that learned not even just in the playoffs last year, but I think January through February, Last season, you guys were in a really tough kind of rut too. We came out on the other side pretty darn good. Yeah, it, like, like I said, it happens. It happens in every season. Um, obviously, you don't look forward to situations where maybe you're not being successful or you're not winning games. Um, but sometimes that's going back to sometimes that's where you learn the, the toughest lessons and, and the best lessons that um, help you you know, propel and succeed later on in the season. Um, and like you said, we did have, we had some tough times last year and even the year before we, we snuck into the playoffs by point, like a thousandth of a, whatever the percentage of, of points was. And uh, we were able to succeed. So like, it's, uh, it's quite a whirlwind and, and you know, to, to come out on top, hopefully learning something is, is the best case scenario. Can you talk about the last few games? Um, 
feels like you guys have got high shot volume and, and a lot of offensive zone pressure. The goals haven't always come, but you can see it on the ice that your team is sort of dictating pace out there. Has that been by design, getting more pucks on that or, or just controlling the attacking zone better? Yeah, uh, you know, I think we have a very highly skilled offense here, a very fast team. Um, and a byproduct of that is, you know, a lot of shots and a lot of ozone pressure. Um, you know, we weren't surprised by having that sustained ozone pressure. That's kind of, you know, we, we like to thrive on that, get the puck in and, and uh, go to work. But, um, yeah, no, I think it, it, it's, uh, I guess, by design, yeah. Um, you know, the high-pressure offense is, is obviously hard to defend. And uh, going back to it, you might not always get the results, but um as long as we continue to play like that and play like that you know eventually it'll break teams down and uh we'll start having success so